What's up, Bombies? It's your girl, Bombsha Aura, back with another video. Yo, I hope you're feeling beautiful, looking beautiful, girl. Feeling handsome and looking handsome, boy. Me, myself, I'm feeling bomb. Gratitude for love and support. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you new. Okay, join the Bombies, boo, because I'm looking and I'm seeing and I'm just like, why are they not joining the Bombies? What's wrong with them today? <laughs> Make sure you guys follow me on Twitch because we're going to be doing live stream reactions over there. And it's going to be lit. It's going to be fun. So you guys can feel like... Go follow me and subscribe to the vlog channel and the gaming channel, you guys. If you want to game, it's yum, yeah. Okay, anyway, real serious shit going on right now. Looks like what needs to be handled is being handled. And that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, Carmen Lawyer released a statement. Ooh. Oh, Carmen don't have to even talk for herself no more. Carmen don't have to say anything. Carmen don't do that. The lawyer is like, shh. shh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And Corey is in big trouble. La, 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 la. <laughs> Corey, you're in big trouble, bruh. Yeah, that's what we finna tune into. Put anything that comes your girl is missing. I need to know. I need to check out. Come on, y'all. Put me in the loop. Loop me. Okay, right, let's get into this video. So as I previously reported, Carmen is pressing charges on Corey Bingo. after he leaked those photos. Mm. Now, Carmen's lawyer did speak out on Instagram. She stated, as many of you know, at its Carmen has endured unspeakable trauma, mm. including doxing, revenge, P, cyberbullying, threats, and relentless harassment. These actions not only violate her privacy and dignity, but also represent a gross infringement of her fundamental rights. Such behaviors cannot and will not mm -mm. be tolerated. Mm -mm. We are determined to pursue. Cannot and will not be tolerated anymore like this is disturbing it's disgusting and you're gonna have like you're gonna you're gonna have it god is gonna whoop your you know why because you're not humble you're not apologetic you're not um empathetic you're not regretful you're not accountable god damn like life is gonna whoop your ass you think you finna what get, you don't get away with anything okay you, if it's, it's rules in real life, it's rules in the spirit life too, baby. You got to move accordingly. Own up to what you're doing. Apologize. Be, choose to be better. Like, why are you... Come on, y'all. Whatever. Behaviors cannot and will not be tolerated. We are determined to pursue all available legal avenues to ensure at its Carmen receives the justice and protection she rightfully deserves. Amen. As a victim of domestic violence myself, I encourage anyone who has experienced similar injustices to come forward and seek help. Our Ooh, what I can't stand, especially like, I don't know, men be saying this, they be like, oh, or it be, it's some dumb broads that be saying this too. If any of that is true, why was she still with him? I can't stand people be like, if any of that is true, why was she still with him? I would have left and that ain't true. She still was there. Come on now. Y'all know dang well. Y'all know people in y'all family that stuff be happening to and they do not leave immediately. Sometimes, why do you think people die from uh DV? Because they stayed too long. Okay. Why do you think there's Lifetime movies with people not getting the proper paperwork in place in order for it to back them up if they end up end up going too far? Y'all got to stop acting so fucking stupid. People do not be just leaving that damn soon. If that was the case, it, people, people will leave a job soon. Nobody ever leave anything that they should be leaving when it's time. So stop, stop with that. Go on with that. I can't stand these people. These people, ugh. If you knew that is true, why was she still there? Oh, you just think people just get up and let people be with people too long and have so many reasons to be done with people and still don't be done with people. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all know how people be. Y'all know life. Quit acting damn stupid on this internet for our, yeah, y'all. Yeah, all the, all the, all the ones playing dumb. If that was true, if your excuse is, why didn't they call the police? Because when do, when do people be calling the police? So many people don't have a father in their life. And, and to tell them what to do in certain situations and women be trying to protect men and they don't be protecting themselves. Stop playing. Dump these motherfuckers. All right, let's get back into it because this gets on my nerves. 
doors are open and we are here to provide the legal guidance and support needed to navigate through these challenging circumstances so carmen has officially lawyered up and Corey was on instagram live he is out of the hospital he did explain why he was in the hospital in the first place as well as his whole situation with carmen why he exposed those pictures and everything else i'm gonna post the live here and as always you guys leave your opinions down below but tell me why i died and came back to life saturday in panama city i was on my dad at home i passed out in line of the ferris wheel with bay when you die and you come back you come back a changed individual when you you come back the same on the same type of time you didn't die a, a near-death experience is going to change you for real. You don't come back the same from that. So. And goddamn, hit my head on the concrete hardest. But I passed out. Okay. I didn't have no post. I got rushed to the hospital. Then they took me to Pensacola, Florida. So in the midst of that moment of me in the hospital, all of this shit happening in real time. I get on Instagram and I get up, up in the hospital and I hear this song. And the first thing I hear is all the lies. And I ain't gonna hold y'all. I wanna just apologize for one thing. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna be dead ass under the child. How angry I am and was at the moment and the lie that was put out, it was like I was on demon time. Like, I'm just, I gotta prove my point. These, these lies, so it's like, what I did wasn't right. That's why I took the picture down in 10 minutes on Snapchat. I just be on with y'all. But it get deeper than that. So it's like... I'm not going to lie. I don't believe anything you say, Corey. I don't. Because you act so quick to put weird... Do weird shit. Somebody you spent so much time with. You doing weird old shit to them. It, rash decisions. So why wouldn't any of the things she's saying be true? You fit the bill of doing things before thinking. Yeah, I don't believe you. It's time to take y'all on this on this on this trip with me on YouTube. Y'all finna y'all finna see something. A person that's been lying to y'all for so long to try to cover their ass and figure their life and out. And cover your to, ass. To say that I made Diddy look like an angel too. is beyond me. Like, and, and it's like, everybody know this, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that's in the circle. I, I really feel sorry because I don't know what the hell Floyd and Ebony, like, they always been about money. That's why I really was on and off working with them. I got a lot of proof on this. You know what I'm saying? What y'all feel to realize is this. The same people that just set this video up and that song up is the same people, the real reason why me and Carmen broke up. And another thing. You're the reason y'all broke up. You're the reason. When you own your shit and doing what you're supposed to do, how can anyone come in between you? No, you weren't doing what you were doing before them. Before them, during them, after them. Like, come on, you still not doing what you're supposed to do. If this is how you do her after y'all broke up, just put stuff out there like, yeah, you got kids with her? Yeah, you doing that shit, she's saying. Quit getting on here playing and shit. Cause you got to answer all this. You ain't got to answer to us, but you're going to answer See everything you say, everything you do. Y'all must know you will answer to your behavior on this planet. You don't get away with anything. You should come back shutting the hell up. If you hit your head for real, bruh, stop lying. Stop playing with people. Stop playing. Stop playing with us for real. Stop playing. Get stay off the internet. It's weird. You're weird. Who does that? Revenge porn? Who the fuck, like, who, who would still even fuck with you after this? Like, what? First of all, Feather Flocks Together, clown shit. If people got to call people out, be a real nigga. A real nigga saying, hey, man, you why you doing, like, doing it? That's foul. That's sick. You know, you're not a player. You're not a P. You're none of that shit, okay? Because even Scar Scarface knew not to kill women and kill children. Come on, it's, it's codes to this shit, for real. You don't know the codes. You violating and betraying the mother of your children. Like, your sons ain't going to grow up and want to beat you. 
Come on, bro. They not going to play about their mama. Nobody play about their mama. You should know better. And anybody who's sitting there co-signing that you are, uh, you have reason, probable cause, they're your demise as well because they should be telling you shouldn't even be doing any of this. You should not be doing that. Why are you attacking this girl? What is it about Car Carmen? Gotta be her. Because if she's so bad, if she's so crazy, you chose to be with her too. Okay. Why are you trying to bring her down on social media and trying to make people hate her? Ain't nobody finna hate her. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna hate her. Okay. We just not. We just not. We don't care. You did what you did. You can lie and try to make it seem like she was with some shit. Of course, she was probably with some shit. That means she was with everything. And I could tell from her video, she not lying. The way that she expressed herself, and I, I could feel her. She She's being felt across the world. The girl not lying. You're not being felt. You are on here. You have not even addressed anything. You, you must address the gun allegations because why? You don't want doing all this talk on the internet. Carmen wasn't saying anything. You don't want to come to the internet. So you got to address. You don't know how to, you don't know how to talk. You don't know how to hold a conversation. You talking around stuff. We don't care about nothing you talking about. You need to talk about, you need to hold yourself accountable or just stop talking about her. You don't want to be with her and you supposed to have a new woman. Like that's weird. Like if I was with a nigga and I'm, excuse me, if I was with someone and all they doing is talking about, talking, talking, damn, you want her, you want her. Because if you were so happy to have her out of your life and so happy to be with me, you wouldn't still be talking about her. Handle whatever you need to handle in a courtroom or paperwork, blah, blah, blah. But you wouldn't even have to do that because if you was doing what you're supposed to do, you wouldn't have to involve them. You'd be, you send up texting people, negativity, hateful stuff, long messages, just attacking people and you magic block. So now you can't talk to your kids. Stop talking to her about y'all and attacking her and just be a father. You had your dad. How dare you? Right? You got your dad. If you got your dad, how dare you not be better than the dad you had and be there like your father was? You're supposed to be better. You gotta do better. People be so focused on getting money and all this fraud fraudulent stuff that's not going in the grave with them and they're not doing what they're supposed to do. They're not taking care of business because a lot of people got y'all thinking that you are a man or you are a woman and you are not taking care of business. You are not handling your shit. Your shit is handling you. And you got to answer all this stuff. And I'm so glad Karma got the lawyer, y'all. I'm so glad because I don't like hearing this type of stuff and I don't like people not taking accountability, saying they ain't do anything and sh like that. And people are so good with that Pandora box ass face. And you're like, oh, I didn't do any of that. If this was the case, why was this? Why I was, if you have to say if that was true why is this that mean you did it why don't you just come out with the facts why don't you just come out with the proof like you coming up with a lot of stuff that we do not care about answer the accusations <laughs> you know don't try you trying to make her look bad and stuff that just make gonna make people want her that's just gonna make niggas want her even more because they see you tripping on her you tripping they're like damn if she really just that dirty and you didn't slept with people too already like you don't 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 be sleeping with other people and still talking about the last bitch. Like, that's crazy work. Am I right or am I right? That's crazy work. She's still on your mind. You wake up, you get out of the hospital, you, you hit your damn head. Okay? And God probably did that to you. Try to knock some sense into you, knock you on the right path because you've been going down the wrong damn alleyway for on, on social media for so long. You may, you you go harder on her than the damn nigga. Yo, get some get some real smoke. Get your real opponent. This, Carmen is not your opponent. She's not your equal. Like, she's a woman, you're a man. When are you going to go after somebody else? Like, it's weird. I can't stand when men be sitting here running, popping their mouth. You talk too much. Get, do use your hands and do get something done. Okay, go argue with a man. Why are you arguing with a woman on the internet? Like, how do anybody respect you after this? How do a real man sit here and look like, wow, this man is doing this and doing it? That's your family. That's your legacy. That's who your sons are going to love. And then they're going to see all this. Boy, boy. The reason why me and Carmen broke up. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to go on there right And another thing. Cause he just don't take accountability at all. Go on YouTube and go find the video when I spoke on me and uh, Carmen getting into it and I put a gun out. For her to get on here, a lot of y'all said I put a gun in her mouth and to her head and not the way she, it's like beyond me. But I know who's. It's beyond me that you ran and had a gun any, anyway, in, in any fashion on a woman. She's lying. No, just be, because you told it first. You think we believe you because you ran and told it first, your version. We believe we supposed to believe you because you say, oh, yeah, I did. You had what? Weird. What is you? You a woman? What you scared of a woman for? You need a gun? My dad always said, don't play with guns. If you pull a gun, you better be using it. If you, if you lift the gun up, you better be using it. Why are you playing with guns? You, you, uh, uh, uh. Out of her mouth and to her head and the way she, it's like beyond me, but... Mm. I know who's behind it. 
But I'm finna show y'all so much shit that finna fuck all y'all up. I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. But for a person to get on here that been lying to y'all this long, and, and she let these people use her, I don't know, to make money or whatever the fuck they got going on on that side of her. We're gonna break it all the way down to everything she kind of low key said. You feel me? Like, I'm gonna, I got it all up. And it's, like, it's beyond me. But now, I'm in a relationship now, and it's like. Are you? If this really was true anyway. Here they go. I mean, here she would have been, you would have tried to been say something about this or anything. If it was true. Everybody do not sit up and say what they going through. Why did they say check on your loved ones? Check on the people that be laughing and stuff. They might not be okay. Some women don't say anything until they know that they really, really gone. So they don't look stupid or, you know, don't want to bring um, drama in, in their life or their children or people to see she's calculated you know so just because she ain't been said anything you made her have to say something if you want a, such a mouth runner a damn water faucet would just run your mouth she wouldn't have to say anything and on top of that i feel like now that i'm in a relationship Are i gotta you? go ahead and clear the air up and i gotta just go ahead and show y'all the real truth too, behind buddy. our relationship me and Carmen, y'all gonna see my wrongs, but I already admitted for it on the internet. Like, I done moved on, you know what I'm saying? I grew from a lot of my mistakes. So, you like, ain't well, grew that damn fast. You, you keep trying to use my past against me, I get that. It's okay, but it's like, damn, like, you can't keep trying to use a past against somebody. But I'm gonna show y'all go, go, go shut a lot of this shit up, and y'all gonna really look at this person something? so different because. That's your goal for us to look at her so different. We're not gonna look at her so different. What you're trying to do, what you're trying to plan against her, God won't let it prevail. Like, you just got to chill. You cannot make people see her differently. You were with her. <laughs> How can you sit and bad talk somebody that you slept with? Y'all just, y'all are crazy. And then some people react to this and they really don't care. And I really do care. I do care. You know what I'm saying? So I just, this this ain't just something for me to be like, oh, let me see what's going on. No, no I really do care. I really don't like this, which is why I'm like... Stopping it and run my damn mouth about it because it ain't just like, man, bro, you crazy or dang, man. No, y'all have no, no, no voice, no power with what y'all say as men to other men. Y'all have no true conversation. What you say do not hold any damn weight. Y'all are on here talking to people and not influencing people to be better people, good people, genuine people, good men, good women. Y'all are on here just running y'all damn mouth, just playing a part of role, probably because you're guilty of the same shit because most people can't check people for own shit because they are guilty of the same stuff. I just, I don't know. I just feel like somebody needs to tell him to shut the fuck up and it's just as simple as that apologize go within learn to care about other people in the way that you are um influencing them and the way that you are affecting people that are close to you in your um life you need to care about that type of stuff and if you don't don't be surprised and want people to care about you what happened to you and what they're gonna say about you when you dead and gone you feel me you gotta think this is bigger than you life is bigger than you it ain't just about you. I just can't stand how everybody don't take accountability, come in people's lives and, and just shake they sh up and be evil and spiteful. I don't even think I'm going to finish watching all this because I really don't like all the talking in circles and talking around shit and dancing. Like, get to the motherfucking meat and potatoes. Boy, get to it. Y'all feel me? I hate I got to do this. It really shocked me. Like, this came out of nowhere. Like, it's like, shocked you. fuck. You're running your damn she mouth. she with Florida Avenue, though. And it's like, I really left her alone because like, she's in her own right. Move on. Now I got to really show everybody who she really is. Just fast and I'm going to take out the track. Make it fast. So first of all, <laughs> you really want to do it kind of made me upset. A lot of the lies she put in this shit. So much of the shit made up. I'm going to take out the lot of the shit made up. Call me lying to y'all since you broke up. Me and Carl broke up. Me and Carl, she said she, she said her, her video well. She got caught testing the guy whatever. The guy was somebody that was inside my house that was like, that's real cool with me, that's close to me. Um, she did a lot of y'all. She everything that happened, we was good. You feel me? She went to her friend's house drinking and whatever. My intuition told me she was cheating. No bullshit. I just asked her when she got to the studio. I got proof around my whole house. Everybody knows that's what goes on around her. So a lot of the lies that she put out kind of baffles me because it's like, yo, you know you got I got Just because people seeing her acting crazy don't mean she the crazy one. When women are acting crazy, nine times out of ten Amanda did something to make her behave that way. Come on now. 
just because they seeing her at her oh was she hype and lit because she's so pissed and going through all this craziness with you because you seem pretty cold a little uh self-centered uh you know just delusional to anything that you do wrong for real so that's it's crazy work dealing with those type of people i dealt with someone like that it's very crazy it's like mentally it's crazy it's a it's a, it's a mind fuck not in a good way <laughs> so get away you know because those people are crazy they sit up and and they'll do a lot of things to you and it's like confusing and you, the way you react will make it seem like well something wrong with you no i'm just dealing with the wrong person that got me reacting the wrong way they don't take no kind of italy Real eyes, everybody that knows you. I got hella videos, I got me, I got everything. You let two people get in your head, try to get some money. Cause I ain't gonna hold you. I've been like healing. So I really ain't even seen my, my girlfriend, she deleted Instagram on my phone. So I ain't even seen nothing. I ain't. Why would it take your girlfriend to delete Instagram off your phone? You're a man, right? You can't have Instagram on your damn phone and I, I can I don't even wake up and get on Instagram. Where's your self control? That's another red flag. So the, the things you are saying in this video, if anybody have um, any intelligence for real, you are saying, my girlfriend deleted Instagram off my phone because I have no damn self-control of myself to not open it. Then you sit up and you put things out about Carmen that you have to retract and pull back that's going to bite you in your, yeah, because you think so quick, you so hasty, you so like, uh, you're not thinking, so that backs up what she says, the character that she says that you are. You may not be that way with everyone, but if you don't have no self-control not to even get on a damn app, you don't have any self-control to keep your hands to yourself. But so, but like, I can imagine how viral this shit going because I know who behind it. But y'all just really went viral just for me to come and just really shut y'all the fuck down and really show who y'all really are. This is some crazy shit. And I was moving on fine. I wasn't even fucked up out there. Let's break this shit all the way down. From Please, a lot of the shit that comes to it. Whoever gave that now. From the moment she lied to y'all, said she came back to me for the kids, full blown lie. I was in Houston getting my teeth done. Carmen lied to y'all. She said that she don't keep my kids from me. That she, yes, she does. Carmen do it because Carmen knows that's the only way she can kind of hold me, hold me to her. You feel me? Like she do this all the time. Like anytime Carmen gets to it, she go try to use the kids. All right, boom. It's, I, Carmen got three domestic violence cases. If I put a gun in your mouth, if I put a gun in your head, if I did all this stuff that you claim that I did. Why in the hell you haven't put me in jail? You try to get along with me. That's not an excuse. It's so many police officers that tell women you were supposed to get some paperwork. Come on, we all know this. Stop trying to play. Just because she ain't go to police about you and you a motherfucking cop caller, police caller, it's rat and you snitching. She more motherfucking GMP than you. You the one ratting and snitching and you coming back to her. She is. That says a lot about you. You're a rat teen. And then you still coming back and you chasing her and shit. Your mouth. If I put a gun in your head, if I did all this stuff that you claim that I did, why in the hell you haven't put me in jail? You try to get along with me. I called police on Carmen three times, more than three times yeah, actually, and I did in front of some friends to be that. So a lot of the girls that follow her page that know her, even that was at our house, remember this night. Like, when Carmen, Carmen get mad, Carmen throws stuff. She's aggressive. She's abusive. Why is she doing that? Because you're probably mentally abusing her. Let's be honest. You're probably emotionally abusing her, mentally abusing her. You're doing all this weird stuff. She in threesomes, up relationship. You got a damn sex demon. You need to help and work on your damn self. Of course you're driving this girl crazy. She don't have nobody. People, you know what I'm saying? How people feel not having people and putting their love into someone. And then they mistreating them no matter about, no matter what they've been through. They don't even care about their story he don't care about what Carmen been through he just want to take her through some more shit oh uh, it's like oh she throwing stuff at me oh uh, yeah yeah and you a cop caller that's a rat in my book you're a rat she's not calling on you and that's your kids my all you have to do is lead that woman you keep coming back for the situation do that and you keep coming back doing the same things of course women always taking men back you know we got to do better we have to do better we deserve better and that's just as simple as that Bro, she be punching, she be hitting, she get she like she throw it to Latina, I don't know, but like, you know, like that's how bad it get. So she don't cheers when I go crazy, like doing the absolute most. I call police on Texas police is so different because it's like they somehow turn the situation back into man. It's the most weird shit ever. I called the police on Carmel another time. She was like, Texas damn. policemen aren't stupid. They're not dumb. Their job is to decipher what's going on. I'm not saying all cops are good, but I've talked to plenty of cops in Texas and they're pretty sane and they can assess the situation. So I don't know why you're saying that. Abuse is I'm going to show y'all the proof. So don't just listen to the thing that I say. I'm going to show y'all the proof. Y'all can see with y'all own eyes. Like, I recorded some of everything. I always record stuff. And it's funny to me because I never thought I'd be using this stuff. But I always record it because I say to myself, I say, bro, I see how women get down and how y'all get away with shit. So as a man, you got to always protect yourself at all costs. But if you you're protecting yourself at all costs, wouldn't you get rid of the liability? 
Oh, if I had sound effects, will you get rid of the liability? You're going to, I'm protecting myself. I'm going to have all this stuff because on a day, because you have the plan of betraying her from the fucking gate from the off the handshake. You got a plan of betraying her because you could just simply not be with her anymore. You don't need to record anything. You don't need to keep coming here. <laughs> what the hell? I had a proof somehow somewhere because it's not grow your ass is grass. If I didn't have proof of, against all of this, all y'all gonna try to tell me tell me I'm a motherfucker gonna be all the that shit. Like dead ass. You don't care what we we think though, right? You don't care. You just don't want her to be popping and you don't want her to, to flourish and she will and she is. When somebody trying to pull you down, what God do? God pull you up. Baby, it's just nothing you could do. You just sit and watch. That's it. Get out the way. You've been in the way. You still trying to be in the way. this one lie. Well, the lie is different this song. Who I really am. Y'all can come over here and try to believe everything she said. If I ain't had nothing to prove, I'm going to show y'all. And y'all can see. If she if she been lying, I'm going to prove to y'all. I'm going to show y'all how bad the lie is. I'm going to show y'all how bad Get she been lying to y'all. I'm fast forwarding already. <laughs> and going along with everything she's doing right now. Dead ass. I don't like people. So we're going to hop into it before we get too far. I'm going to hit some of the pinpoints real quick to bring everything together with y'all. You remember she kept lying about saying that we wasn't back together. We wasn't talking nothing like that. When I went to Houston, y'all. Carmen called, text my phone at 5 o'clock in the morning. Now, Precious is my witness through everything in this whole entire situation. She got on her video and a lot of y'all said that I moved the girl in. I'm like, she made all this shit up. She lying, y'all. It's so crazy. Shut up. We don't care about that. Everything now. But Carmen texted me at 5 in the morning as she left the club. And she knew I was in town. She thought about me. She told me not how about she called my phone. That's how we met. And I texted her. I said, I didn't even want to text her first because I was like, what the fuck? But then I texted her back and I told her I said, I need to link up to talk. Ooh. So she didn't. So we met. We decided to link up and go to um, the restaurant. What do you call it? Uh, Fuck, it's in Houston. Uh, the, the, the seafood restaurant open um, near the gallery area. I forgot the name of it. But we went there, right? I didn't find out that the kids wasn't with her until I walked outside in the car that morning from the hotel. So when I walked outside in the car, I was literally expecting to see the kid. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I opened the door. They're not in there. She looked at me. She was like, oh, the kids is not here. Uh, they're in Alabama. So that's when I was like, okay. So you got to tell the stories how everything would go. And she, bro, I'm not breaking this It don't matter. Shit. If you didn't want to be with her, you ain't want to see her, you would have been the man and said, oh, I thought you was bringing my children. They ain't here. Okay, well, when I'm going to see them? You, you would have stood on business. Quit trying to play. You're playing both sides. It's just because she still loved you, still had a little bit of hope, still was confused because she ain't. You know, been away from the dark place long enough to know that, damn, it's really dark over there and the sun really exists. Let me go where this, the sun at. That don't mean anything. She's going to make dumb decisions during that, that mind frame. <laughs> she came without the kids probably to see where y'all stood so y'all can hold a conversation and, and get along before you, you were around the children with her again. Come on. Just stop. You want to all the time. lies. I haven't seen too much of it. I'm going to go look and see everything that y'all see and I'm going to sit back and laugh at y'all. And we're going to be sitting back at this side. Yo, bro. Laughing? We get in the car. We go to the restaurant. You think any, let's say she ain't telling the truth about the whole where the gun was pointed at her. Even just pulling a gun on her. None of this is a laughing matter. It shows your character. Like, it's one thing. You, you, you can't be loyal to your woman. You know, y'all already got weaknesses. And y'all fall for, for the okie doke of, of ass so easily and cheat. And, you know, could probably catch something. Y'all so damn weak. You mean to tell me you can't at least keep a woman that you once loved, you created family with, safe? You got to attack her like somebody on the street? And it's people that really done you bad and really crossed you and you ain't done nothing about it? Put the G, some, some fucking restaurant. And so we get there, man, I apologize to Carmen face to face. No, I asked her a question first. I asked her, was, did you lie to me when you told me that you wasn't illegal? Like, you didn't know that you were illegal. And she said, no, she didn't lie. So I was like, thank you, you're in the restaurant. Then I apologized to her through why I went so hard because I told the real that, yo, this girl lied to me saying that she's an immigrant. She was, well, she wasn't an immigrant, whatever. She married me, all this shit. I got a whole story of how it happened. It was fucked up, her and her mom, to be exact. And that's why I was so angry, you feel what I'm saying, when I found out. So I apologize. It really doesn't matter because... She came in your life and did good to you. She was loyal. She was loyal to you. She had your back, and she didn't throw you under the bus, even when you were throwing her under the bus. She's a loyal, good girl. So it really don't matter how you ended up being with her or how she ended up being with you. You loved her, and she was good to you. She only texts someone after you've been doing a whole bunch of weird old demon stuff. You're. A, let me be quiet. Let's go. Let's go, y'all. Apologize to her. We back. Who? We went cool. to her house that night. We had sex that night. 
Okay, and what do you think saying that proves about you? <laughs> what do you think that proves about her? She already didn't even have your children. Big deal. <laughs> Woo. We was she back the good table. from that night, from that day on four. So everything a child kept seeing on her end, she was the one making me not like not say nothing. Like she don't know we good, whatever. So she was lying to y'all the whole entire time. And I'm saying this because it's like for you to even get on here, even lie to even make your. Why would she feel that she has to lie to be with a man who's not abusing her? Woo, sound effect, doom. She's covering up because she's ashamed and embarrassed and in order to feel that way, someone's done something to you to make you feel that way. Just because she ain't want us in her business don't mean, oh, she lying about everything. No, that don't mean that. Don't, that that's not why she was doing that. She just stuck. Women be stuck, believe it or not. I can't stand people to be like, oh, somebody did all that. You are still doing business with people that crossed you. You are still dealing with family members that have crossed you, betrayed you, um, talked bad about you, did anything to you. Y'all don't just really be standing on business and say, hey, you got to respect me. Hey, you got to respect my decisions. Hey, you got to respect my woman. Hey, you got to respect my children. Y'all not really about respect, not even for your damn self. So I don't even understand how y'all be expecting people to just be like, know how to make decisions right off the top for themselves. People are still working certain jobs that are mistreating them and not caring about whether they live or not. You can't walk away from that and go to a different job, get an interview. Yeah, a lot of people get stuck. So it, it's pretty normal. I don't like how people trying to make it seem like it's not normal for everybody to get stuck and used to something that's not good for them. Right? Right. Your lives, you got to make it make sense. When you know that you were out dead or something, they want to put the hell Thought I wasn't going to come on here and really tell the whole true story. About this, bro. So we was like, so, so boom, so we're going we're to break it down right here. So you know I did an interview on Tasha K, right? We're going to get to her vlog in a minute. The vlog, mm -hmm. y'all that don't know, I did a vlog with Tasha i Me and Karma cool this whole time. Like, we all, like, how it's supposed to be. It's positive. I'm not going to go here and lie, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling everybody like that's the next week, right? She went on her podcast, and what happened was Ebony was with her. She didn't lie to Ebony the whole time, like, me and her not talking or whatever, I guess, right? And when... Tasha K said some things and Ebony was in there and she lied about everything, trying to cover her ass to Ebony. So that was her interview. She was seen her. How long you know, y'all were serious? Lies, like, um, I'm sure the first, first, the first baby. What you came to us you feel what I'm saying? And I got the proof to back everything up. So let's just go ahead about this shit. Just because y'all was cool and she was fucking with you still, don't mean she shouldn't have been. Don't, don't. That don't mean she shouldn't have been. So we'll go back it up back to him. That means you didn't do those things. So when all these went down, right? When Michi had posted this video. Why are you even involved in this man and this? So kissing after I had posted church. You see, she texted me. She said, piss the fuck off. Okay, so, she's playing both sides. Congratulations. She's trying to keep you around. And she's trying to make it seem like she was mad. She kissed Michi. She wasn't. It is what it is. Come on. At this moment. That's what she's I'm telling you. you. Like she, when she was in the night, you know. <laughs> The whole Atlanta situation, everybody kept saying she was in Atlanta with me, they thought I was trolling. Like Everybody kept thinking that I was just trolling y'all, like I'm just psyching out. No, I was literally, I, I was in control of the narrative. Carmen knew everything. You were in control of the narrative. Sounds like you have an issue of wanting to be in control. Everything that was going on, Carmen, I'm texting, like we, we talking, we're good. You're good, but she's kissing Michi. Carmen is confused. That's it. Come on now, Carmen was confused. <laughs> you feel me? Y'all thought confused. we was She's just not saying nothing. That's why she, she looked so safe be. and so innocent because she was quiet the whole time. She was quiet the whole she time because so she was lying to y'all the whole time. Because that's her book fucking business. She was trying to forgive you for what you done to her. She feels some hope. She being quiet trying to say, hmm, she don't know what to do. Life don't come with a manual. You know, it's just... Boy, now that she speak it's out with a lie, that's why I look, it looked so believable to y'all because, oh, she just not... No. Energy can be felt. Realness is felt. Your shit is fake. You ain't radiating. You ain't on nothing. But trying to manipulate and the level of manipulation is way too damn low for anybody to be falling for this. You came with no real anything. You are always exposing weird stuff about this girl. Instead of just backing up your character, choose Jesus. Don't choose social media. Choose Jesus. Choose the Lord. Go within. You know, and once you get 30, you know, whatever. Y'all, I can't watch that no more. I'm sorry, y'all. That was upsetting me. I don't like when people do anything to women, then try to lie and feel so comfortable to lie about it. That's how you know people aren't really sorry because they can come forward. It's one just to be quiet. 
just to be quiet but you brought this on yourself and you come forward so cocky to just yeah i'm sorry y'all i'm gonna be quiet because this video getting too long y'all shout out to carmen don't let any of this get to you um let's see we only got a little bit left y'all nah she listen i'm gonna be real i hate to say that but like she's going through some real life shit he abruptly ended the live after carmen's lawyer released the state thank god thank god i'm ready for all of this to be put to damn bed put to bed because you are harassing this woman and you're lying and it's just annoying y'all like comment and subscribe i love you guys very much if you're going through anything like don't be ashamed the real will recognize the real and you can't lie and get far too damn long you know be a good person at the end of the day if you're doing like minuscule stuff nobody's perfect nobody's perfect but when you're doing sick stuff, demonic stuff, and you're going to answer to that, baby. You're going to be sick. It's, it's, it's going to catch up with you. Ooh, it's going to eat your spirit. Mm, it's going to eat you up. So, y'all, take care of yourself inside. Be beautiful on the inside, beautiful on the outside. See you guys next video. Bye, bombies.